Welcome back. What we've seen so far with this Galaxy Racer roster, they have been doing a whole lot of work off the back of Alacrity. It's just really at level three when the balls are two points. All right, that's going to be an issue because you can't kill them fast enough. You can't really slap them down. Um, and they pack a punch. Yeah, and you've always got to be worrying about uh, the Vengeful Spirit as well. And uh, it's just a lot of utility as well. Mid, BB, getting himself run out here by Alacrity. The last auto attack doesn't go through, but that one does. It's not something that I was expecting or too much, but top size, you'd say. A bit more aggression coming in here from my pro. He doesn't have any of his spells up just yet. Oh, he really wanted that magic missile. But now being hit by the Bodride, he has to be careful. Paulson's going to turn back around. They're going to come in with the magic missile. Do they get the trade? Yes, they do. But for In Your Dream, that is a technical solo kill. Seri does take his career with him. The key is Seri. Seri needs his helmet on, which is on the way. He needs to use that to get an advantage on the top lane. Well, they're going to see if they can exploit this a little bit more as well. In Your Dream is the first time he's actually had to deal with any pressure here in this top lane. And the Bloodseeker's going to be paying the price. We've seen these fives do a lot of work so far recently in 7.30, so seems like we're going to have a little bit of a kerfuffle here towards the mid lane. The rupture comes down, so Leona X is going to bite the dust first. Alacrity, oh, beautiful split earth. They catch him out, and the snipe comes in as well. Well, that's scared of them out, and they're actually going to invade the jungle because they know that's where the clings should be. Oh, they didn't have the vision just there, so KMP was able to be fast enough there on the fingers with the skeleton walk. And this could be forcing something. Leona X is going to come up with the shield crash, get himself in there, but he's going to have to be careful. They do cancel the uh, fiend strip, though. They will lose out on their plus five. Terry, bring out the raw. Not going to do all too much just yet. There's a lot of heroes here from Galaxy Racer. Everybody's here. And, oh, beautiful shackle from Joker. Catches two. My pro's going to die as well. And that's three on the deck for them. Mizu. He isn't able to purge off his own tornado, so they kind of just have to awkwardly stare at uh, Seri. The BKB Maelstrom on Bloodseeker as well, and the thing is they're farming Radiance efficiency with these types of heroes already fast enough, but giving them a head start makes it even worse. The roar goes down here onto Alacrity. He doesn't have a way of uh, keeping himself alive for any longer, so... You get the shackle down there, but KFP's okay, more than tanky enough. So he's going to be able to get away from the Wind Ranger. They're going to set their ascension back here onto Alacrity. They do get that kill. And the PA Leon Axe for it oh as well, God. though. And on the backside, the Shackle's absolutely beautiful once again. KMP is going to bite the dust here underneath the T1 Tower. No, he's actually enough to get away here. But there is a very, very fast Bloodseeker that's trying to chase him down. KMP, he's just fast enough, though. And he will get himself back towards the safety of his Tier 3 Tower. And in your dream, has to run back underneath these trees. Try and get away, so they trade themselves an offlane and a mid for a position four. They're happy if you're MY right now. You know next? Let's see if he can get himself a kill. That's a fiend script as well as the shackle that comes in, so Polison goes to pay with a cooldown in his life. He won't actually get the kill, but it means they will buy enough space here for the rest of Galaxy Racer to get away. Lawson is actually going to be baiting it out. In fact, they got the grip. Yeah, they have the grip. Do they have the damage? That's the real question. Oh, that is a lot of initial damage that comes in there from In Your Dream. And they do take down KMP. I just can't believe it's a global. Honestly, Gale Force should not be a global. Whatsoever. I don't think it should be global either. <laughs> Seri? They've got certainly enough damage to take down this Beastmaster. The Shackles once again here from Joker are going to be enough. Well, they actually have the raw, so they're going to be able to get away from this. They lose my pro, but no, Seri. Too low on life there, and Galaxy Racer find yet another one. A lack of stuns coming from MY is going to kind of show itself that they're not going to be able to lock anyone to actually burn them down. And on top of that, the damage is lacking. There's no crystals on the clinks. Yeah, that's a big thing. And speaking of the clinks, you got found out once again. Yeah, it just seems like they're playing in a way that there's, there's no hope that they're dragging out the game. There we go, another initiation. And it's just, it's just a massacre at this point. And this is why we talk about Galaxy Racer the way that we do. There is going to be a team fight that's going to come in here up against Galaxy Racer. The Wind Waker comes in once again, and in your dreams it's going to be KB. The Nori doesn't have the Rupture to play around with, but Seri is going to get hit by that Blood Ride as well. And oh, the Gale Force. It is too good. Absolutely redonkabonkin'.
the Brewmaster ulti to just seize and they're doing exactly that. They're using the Blood Rage as well to amplify the uh, demolish from the Earth Panda. And they don't even have to commit actual heroes to take a Rax. It's just that easy for them to play. Might be a small sliver of hope. It is ever diminishing. Now, they're planning into this, they do get the raw, but the Wind Waker comes in here from Alakrit, the Gale Force on top as well, making it hard for everyone to play around with, and once again, Polis is able to save everyone and kill everyone as well, they get the Pangalia down, they're going to take down Mypro, and KMP joins them as well. It's all quite a formality now, Dancy, especially within your dream, cleaning up BB, they've got buyback from some of their heroes, but do they have the net worth? I don't think they do. BB's gonna see if he can have himself a little bit of a montage here. A little bit of fun to see if he can clean up some of these heroes, but no, he can't. He's getting juiced and jarred and, and beaten and abyssaled. And that will be a triple kill there for the Bloodseeker. And Galaxy Racer. Radiant gonna take the first game in convincing fashion. 33 minutes starting. 22 of them. Yeah, I just felt like they had a good understanding about how and why needed to play and what they needed to achieve to win the game and they completely shut down the aspects either be the beastmasters early game joe cam is playing the pudge here and uh, i'm not sure if the sand king is gonna have a a good game against the slark omni these days you don't see as many hard scaling cores such as the terror blade and slark is very aggressive in the laning phase beautiful for <laughs> Yeah, Seri gets caught out as well, and he's only level 1 in that Virus Strike, so he can only get a little bit away. But Polison, he's the one that's copying the most damage here, so he's going to lose his life there to Leon A. Going to be emphasizing more and playing early aggression, either through lanes or contesting jungle camps. And oh my goodness. Yeah, you almost solo killed Polison there, and now he might be the first kill here for the side of Galaxy Racer. So they will be able to give that one to In Your Dream. Absolutely, which I... I'm not necessarily thinking it's a bad idea, but he's got to make sure he gets something out of the lane. Oh, we got the hook! They found him. Threads the needle there. So Joe Cam's able to clean that kill up now, and they set their attention back here onto KMP. He's getting slowed up by the rot, but he is fast when it comes to this Medusa. They're looking to get the kill underneath the tower, but Seri, beautiful rotation. Just, just get enough time for KMP to get away. Oh, in general, Alacrity, though, he's trying to get his BKB. The hook! Oh my god, my pro has absolutely cleaned it up. Now with the LSA on top, they've got the split earth alacrity. He's gonna go down. With a little bit of fishing going awry here, it means that Jokem hasn't been able to put themselves in good positioning. Now with the epicenter being wound up here from Seri as well, they found out Mizu for sure. He gets hooked out of the uh, sandstorm though. We'll fight the dust of the pack so it's both off lane is going down here for Galaxy Racer and MY respectively. They're gonna look for the fight. They already did lose their T1 tower. The wave of terror comes in as well. So it looks like both teams are actually playing around some specific timing. Yeah, and I'm wondering of... how they deal. Alacrity, he's been found out. They have the Heavenly Grey, so they can turn back around here. In your dream comes in with the Dark Pack. They're gonna have to use the Epicenter, but there's so much damage being pumped in. Oh, the threat, the needle there from Joe Cam catches out Seria. Now they can turn around with the Guardian Angel. And this is why this Omni Knight hero has been the nightmare of everyone in their pub so far. For you to play around with, there's not many heroes left here in the area for MY. The blinks come in, the play comes down, BKB had to be used here by the leader. He's gonna get burst through by the Shadow Fiend. And they're looking to take down Joe Cam, but he's fast enough to get away from this. The Requiem goes down once again to send KMP back. But he will be able to continue to walk forward. I don't think anybody can really take him down. In your dreams, gonna try his best, though. They've turned in here with the stone gaze, and this is what you said, right? The Slark with this blink dagger, just being able to bait out these spells and. <laughs> they wanted to make sure they get the echo stomp there as well. And once again, a little bit perplexing coming out from both these teams. And they have taken down Mizu. They do not get the kill there onto BB. They have to use the Stone Gaze here. Alacrity pops that BKB, so we will get back. Buyback comes in from the bench. The Spirit Mini, she goes directly back into this illusion. And they found him once again here on the high ground. Leona X just doesn't have the damage just yet. In your dream, jumps in. It's going to be hard for them to deal with this Lark, and it is all about retreating now for MY. The blink for the hook! They've caught out KMP. It's a big fish to fry. Seri's trying his best to keep these Medusa alive. He will be able to take Joe Cam with him, but there's still so many strong members from the side of Galaxy Racer to go through. Mizu is walking towards the T3 tower menacingly. 
just so he can turn into the Vengeful Spirit Illusion. Get the swap one more time here. He's just keeping the vision for Alacrity to throw those big right clicks, and they do get the triple onto in your dream. Worst case scenario, Alacrity gets caught out. You can just blink in and bite him and keep him healthy. You've got the Heavenly Grace, you've got Holy Locket, heals. You're, oh, they got the swap too. Yeah, they found out KMP. Pushes himself to the low ground, so they at least will be able to keep him alive. But no, beautiful hook comes in once again. The bite comes down, another swap. Alacrity gets himself to the high ground. He's going to stand here and bam fight onto BB, but he's got a Guardian Angel. You do not. KMP will at least TP out here. So they take down Mizu, and they don't lose KMP. Your Alacrity gets bitten. So they keep him alive, we'll joke him. And now, in your dream, goes into the base. He's gonna try and take down uh, Le uh, Leon X here. He has to use the Shadow Dance at least to keep himself alive. And so they will get through another tier 3 tower. The Galaxy Racer, they can kind of fall back whenever they want to. They've always got these uh, abilities to fall back on. And now, they've taken out the range racks. They're setting their sights on the melee racks as well. That's one ladder rack done. Yes, they have the Heavenly Grace here on my pro. So, they've got that for themselves, but... Still, he's trying to be hard. You get the 4 star, so you will look damage here to Alacrity. He has the depth shroud to play around with. In your dream, Cops the Laguna play will not die just yet, and Alacrity is copping a lot of damage, but he's done a lot back. And now they're just able to keep these cores alive. They've got the bite, they've got the GA, they've got the Heavenly Grace, they've got the swap, they've got purification. There's just a lot to play around with here in Micro. He has stolen GA. So at least they can try and fight with that. Maybe he can steal something good as well. The KMP. He's standing and fighting against Alacrity, who has a Satanic to play around with. But so now it's their go time. Guardian Angel being dropped here by my pro. We'll buy them a little bit of time. The Aegis does get reclaimed as well, so Alacrity has to play a little bit differently in these fights. But now they're taking down Seri in your dreams. The next one to look for KMP. They have to get the force away, but Joker once again, he seems to be a magnet with these hooks on KMP. And they forced out the buyback from the Medusa. He's TPing in. To look a bit scary it seems and again Joe Cam hits the hook on the BB. Might not result in his death just yet, but it will eventually. And now they've got KMP into everybody of Galaxy Racer. He gets a nice little stone gaze, but he's gonna lose his life nonetheless. 99 seconds on the sideline and a 2 and 0 here for Galaxy Racer. And Darcy, what a draft from them. I do like the idea behind it. Maybe not have been uh, Joe Cam's finest performance in the, the first 20 minutes of this game.